Okay, so ito na yung part 2 natin ng um, series and sequences. So, ito naman guys ay geometric sequence and series. So, ang formula niya iba dun sa arithmetic um, series, sequence and series. Kaya guys, pagka nag, um, nagsusolve kayo ng sequences and series, make sure alam nyo kung ano yung um, numbers na dinideal ninyo or ano yung progression na sinosolve ninyo kung geometric siya or arithmetic kasi magkaiba siya ng formula. Dadagdagan ko lang to ng multiply dito sa gitna. Ibig sabihin, imumultiply ito. Okay? So, let us have... Um, so, ito na yung formula. Ito yung n term. Ayan. Ibig sabihin yung ika, ilang term. And then, ito yung sum of n term. So, ito naman yung sa series niya. Okay? So, let us have the first example. Find the sixth term of the geometric sequence whose first term is 7 and whose common ratio is 2. So, nagbigay siya ng a sub 1, 7. Tapos, nagbigay siya ng ratio na 2. Again, sabi dito, find the sixth term. So, ang n natin dito ay 6. Sabi guys, find the sixth term. Walang sinabing sum. That's why ang hinahanap dito ay a sub 6. Okay? So, kung n term ang hinahanap, this one would be your formula. So, a sub 1 multiplied by r raised to n minus 1. Yang mga um, parenthesis na yan guys, nilagay ko yan for a purpose dyan. Okay? So, kailangan wag niyong buburahin yung mga parenthesis. Lalo na yung sa mga calcu na walang fraction na function. Yung mga single liner na calcu. So, 7 times r natin is 2 raised to n natin is 6 minus 1 kasama sa formula. So, you get your calculator. Ayan. And then, press nyo lang. So, 7 times 2 raised to so, parenthesis 6 minus 1. So, the answer would be 2, 2, 4. Okay? Now, if your calculator has no fraction or yung exponent na umaangat na ganito, katulad niyan. So, yung mga calcul nyo, yung hanapin nyo tag... Yan, guys. Hanapin nyo yung symbol na yan. So, ang pag-input nyo yan sa calcul nyo, ganito. So, 7 times 2 raised to... Ayan, yan yung raise. And then, parenthesis 6 minus 1. Pag equals nyo, try nyo siya, dapat equal yan dito. Okay? So, ganun ang pag-input kapag ang calcul nyo ay single line. Okay, let's have the second example. Find the 19th term of the sequence 2, 6, 18, 54, 162, and so on. So, identify muna natin what is our a sub 1, 2. Okay? And then, ang n natin dito, since we are looking for the 19th term, 19 ang n. And then, ang ating ratio. Okay? So, paano natin makalaman yung ratio? Actually, pwede nyong i-divide. Ito, 6 divided by 2, 18 divided by 6. Or pwede nyong i-observe na lang, di ba? Yung 2 naging 6, yung 6 naging 18. So, basically, na-multiply siya sa 3. Diba? 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 times 3 is 54, and so on. Okay? So, ang ating ratio ay 3. Ibig sabihin, yan yung minimultiply dun sa number, current number, to get the next number. Okay? So, since we are looking for the 19th term, not the sum of the 19 terms, so, ang gagamitin natin is a sub 19. Okay? So, 19, ito pa rin yung formula. a sub 1, 2, times ratio na 3. Raised to n minus 1, so 19 minus 1. Okay? So, a sub 19 or yung 19th term ng sequence na to, geometric sequence. So, same lang dito yan, guys. Ay, hindi siya same. So, 2 times 3 raised to 19 minus 1. Ayan. Okay? Pag equals, medyo malaki yung sagot. So, 7, 7, 4. Yan na lang natin per digit. 8, 40, 9, 7, 8. 8, 40, 9, 7, 8. Okay? So, the final answer is this one. Ayan yung ika-19 term. Kung mapapansin nyo guys, sa geometric, mas malaki talaga ang geometric compared to, ano, to arithmetic kasi um, papataas yung values niya kasi nga multiplication siya. Ibig sabihin, mas, mata, mas malaki yung nilalaki niya compared sa um, arithmetic na puro plus lang siya. Ito kasi namumultiply siya. Eh. So, 162 times 3, tapos yung sagot at times na naman sa 3. Kaya yung a sub 19 natin, sobrang laki na siya. Okay? So, natural lang yan. Sige, let's have number 3. Find the sum of the first 15 terms in the sequence 2, 6, 18, 54, 162. Actually, same sila nito ng given. So, ang ating a sub 1 is still 2. And then, ang n natin na iba kasi sabi, find the sum of the first 15 terms. So, 15 ang ating n. Okay? And then, ang ratio natin still the same 3. Okay? So, sabi, find the sum. Once na nabasa nyo yung sum, ibig sabihin, s na yon. So, s sub what? s sub 15. Kasi find the sum of the first 15 terms. So, we will use this formula. Ayan. Okay. So, a sub 1. So, 2. Okay. Times 1 minus ratio natin is 3. Ayan. Sinusundan ko to guys. Raised to n, 15. Okay. All over 1 minus 3. Okay. Sa calcul na to guys. Ayan. Unahin nyo to pindutin. Fraction. Okay. And then 2 
times 1 minus 3 raised to 15. Tapos, baba nyo muna yung cursor bago kayo mag parenthesis. Kasi ang common mistake dito, nandiyan yung parenthesis sa taas. Pag equals nyo, mag-syntax error yan. Ganyan nyo ha? Ayan. Kasi yung parenthesis nyo, nandun sa ibabaw, sa exponent. So, mali yun. Dapat, nandito siya sa baba. So, baba nyo muna dito, sa parenthesis. Ayan. So, 143, 48, 143, 48, 143, 48, 906. Ayan. Okay? So, this is our sum, the sum of the first 15 terms of this sequence. Okay? Now, if you may ask me, ma'am, paano pa yung mga calcio na walang fraction or single line? So, dere-derecho pa rin, pero ang gagawin nyo, guys, is you will press ABC pag nandito na kayo. Okay? So, 2 times 1 minus 3. Ayan, sinusundan ko lang to. Tapos yung raise nyo, ito. So, yung raise to 15, close parenthesis. Tapos para magkaroon ng divide, you do not use ito ha. Huwag nyo gagamitin to. Ang gagamitin nyo guys is yung ito. Saan nyo matatagpuan yan? Dun sa ABC. Okay, pagkapindot nyo yan, pindutin 1 minus 3. Ayan, yung parenthesis huwag kakalimutan. Tapos equals nyo, ayan, dapat equal yan dito. Okay, so para ma-input ma nyo to, that is the, just press yung A, B, C. Matatagpuan nyo yan dito guys. Tingnan nyo to. Ayan, nandito siya. Kung nasan yung fraction dito, nandito rin yung A, B, C na yan. So, yun na pipindutin nyo. Okay? Sige, let us have the last four examples. Number four, find the sum of the first 12 terms in a geometric sequence if the first term is 6 and the common ratio is negative 3. So, first term daw is 6. So, ang A sub 1 is 6. Common ratio is negative 3. Sabi, find the sum of the first 12 terms, kaya ang n natin ay 12. Tapos ang inahanap, sum. So, S sub 12. Okay? So, S sub 12 is equal to A1 multiplied by 1 minus R raised to N over 1 minus R. Okay? So, ang A1 natin is 6 or first term, 1 minus, okay. Yung ratio dito guys, negative. Diba sabi ko sa inyo, once na nag-negative na, ang number na sinasalpak ninyo, you always put another parenthesis. Okay? So, maglagay pa kayo ng isa pang set ng parenthesis dyan para sa negative na ratio. Kasi itong minus na to, ito yun. Okay? Ito, iba siya yung minus niya ito. So, lalagay nyo siya sa loob ng parenthesis. Very important na, na may parenthesis siya. Okay? So, raise to n na 12 and then yung close. Ito yun. Okay? So, kinopya ko ito yun. Okay? All over. Okay? 1 minus. So, ito yun. And then yung r natin negative. So, lalagay pa ako ng isa pang negative dito. Ayan. And then yung close na to. Okay? Tapos, kopyahin nyo lang sa calc. Okay? So, sa calc natin, ayan, fraction. So, 6 times 1 minus parenthesis for the negative 3. So, negative 3. And then, raise to 12. Okay? Tapos, close parenthesis. Sa ilalim naman, 1 minus. <clears throat> okay? And then, parenthesis na naman, negative 3. Actually, pwede to, pwede tong negative. Depende sa inyo. Okay? Then, close parenthesis. So, 79, 71, 60. So, negative 79, 71, 60. So, the final answer is this one. Okay? Guys, tignan nyo ha. Pagka hindi natin nilagyan ng parenthesis yan, kahit yung nasa taas lang. Ayan. Ayan. Mali ang sagot. Diba? So, kailangan put parenthesis para ipipemdas nya guys. Okay? Ibig sabihin, uunahin nyo itong erase sa 12, yung buong negative 3 before multiplying it by the negative 1 here. So, yan ang tamang sagot. Okay? So, take note nyo na lang yun guys na Kung mag, sa substitute kayo ng value na negative, you always put another set of parenthesis. Yung close and open parenthesis. Dun sa number na ini-input nyo. Lalo na kung negative siya. Okay? Sige, let's have number 5. What is the 23rd term of the sequence? 4, negative 8, 16, negative 32. So, ang A sub 1 natin dito is 4. N, yung hinahanap, is 23. Okay? Ratio natin. Ayan. Saan siya na multiply Okay? So, 4 naging negative 8, yung negative 8 naging 16, yung 16 naging negative 32. So, obviously, ang ating ratio ay negative 2. Okay? 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Negative 8 times negative 2, positive 16. Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, guys, dun sa first video natin, paano nyo malalaman na ang arithmetic ay, um, ang difference niya ay negative na. Halimbawa, 10, tapos naging 8. Tapos, sunod naging um, 6, ayan, and so on. So, kapag ka arithmetic, arithmetic to, ba? So, pag naging um, pababa yung number nyo sa sequence ng arithmetic, malalaman nyo na ang difference niyan ay negative. So, ito, negative 2, kasi pababa siya. So, sa geometric naman, malalaman nyo na negative na yung ratio kapag ka ang signs ninyo ay alternating. Ibig sabihin, positive, negative, positive, negative. Ganun na siya. 
salit-salita na yung sign niya. So, in this case, malalaman nyo na ang ratio nyo ay negative. Kasi yung 4, positive. Yung negative, um, 8, negative. Tapos, positive 2, negative. So, alternating na siya. So, ang ratio nyo, sigurado dyan, guys, negative. Okay? So, negative 2. Now, um, hinahanap dito, guys, 23rd term, not the sum. So, hindi sum ang tinutukoy dyan. So, therefore, ang kukunin natin is A sub 23. Okay? So, A sub 23 is equal to, formula is A sub 1 multiplied by R raised to N minus 1, parenthesis. So, A sub 1 is 4 multiplied by, so, ayan, ratio na naman, guys. Yung ratio ay negative. So, again, sabi ko kanina, pag nagpapalit kayo ng number na negative ang sign, you always put another set of parentheses. So, yan, nalagyan ko ng ganyan. Okay? So, 23, 23 minus 1. Okay? So, A sub 23, salpak sa calcu. Okay? So, 4 times parentheses negative 2. Okay? Close parentheses, raise to parentheses 23 minus 1. Ayan. <clears throat> Naglalag siya. Ayan. So, the answer is 16777. So, 16777. 216. Ayan. So, this is the 23rd term of the oh, um, geometric sequence. Okay? So, sa mga calcul na walang fraction, ang pag-input niyan, 4 times uh, parenthesis negative 2, close parenthesis, raise to parenthesis 23 minus 1, close parenthesis. Ayan. Tapos, equals nyo, ito dapat. Okay? Dito naman, again, ito ay pipindutin nyo as A, B, C. Ayan. Okay? Pero as is siya. Tapos, yung raise, lagyan nyo lang ng exponent pa ganun. Okay? Sige, let us have the sixth example. So, what is the 30th term of the sequence? 4, negative 8. Actually, same siya dito. Ayan, same na itong mga to eh. Okay? So, ang ating A sub 1 is the same. Um, 4. And then, ang ating um, R is the same, negative 2. So, dito, A sub 1 is 4 din. And then, R is negative 2. Pero dito sa number 6, ang N natin ay 30. Kasi 30th term. Tapos, hinahanap 30th term. So, walang sum. Ibig sabihin, A sub 30. Okay? So, a formula is this one, the same. So, A sub 1 is 4 multiplied by, so ratio again, negative. So, lalagay ko negative 2. Raised to N minus 1. Ayan. So, 30 yung ating N dito. Okay? So, balikan lang natin si calc -Q. Actually, papalitan na lang natin to kasi same yung given kanina. So, papalitan ko lang to ng 30. So, equals, ayan, medyo malaki. Negative 2, 1, 4. Okay? 2, 1, 4, 7, 4, 8. Ayan, 7, 4, 8, 36, 48. So, 36, 48. So, the final answer is negative, yan, negative number. Okay, let us have the last example. What is the sum of the first 18 terms of the sequence 4, negative 8? Yun, same, same given. Okay, so, sabi dyan, sum of the first 18. So, ang n ko ay 18. At ang hinahanap sum. So, therefore, s sub 18. So, ang formula, ito. Okay, so, a sub 1 is 4. Multiplied by 1 minus, so ang ratio na naman negative, so I will put another parenthesis here, negative 2. Raise to n, ayan, raise to n 18, and then close parenthesis based dun sa formula. Okay, over 1 minus negative 2, parenthesis, parenthesis. Okay, so madadoble siya, kasi nag-add tayo ng another parenthesis. Okay, so dire-direcho sa calc, input nyo lang. Okay, so 4 times 1 minus negative 2, raise to 18, and then, common mistake, may lalagay nyo yung sa taas, so move nyo muna to cursor, ayan, okay, over, parenthesis 1, minus, negative, or ito, pwede yan, negative 2, okay, close parenthesis, saka isa pang close. So, the answer is, negative 3, 4, 34, 349,524. Ayan, okay? So, the final answer, or the sum of the first 18 terms is negative 30, 349,524. So, para sa mga calc na walang fraction, ang itsura niyan, 4 times 1 minus negative 2 raised to 18, close parenthesis, and then itong over na to, pindutin yung ABC, so lalabas to, okay, and then 1 minus parenthesis negative 2, close parenthesis, dalawa, as equals, okay? So, pag equals nyo guys, itry nyo siya sa calc nyo, dapat ganito na lang. So, that is how you um, use the formula for geometric sequence and series.